Hi, I'm Susan Taylor with Scripps Health in San Diego, California. You gave birth more than a year ago, but you still can't seem to lose those last 10 pounds of belly fat. Or maybe you're eating a healthy diet and you're exercising more. And while the rest of your body is nice and lean, uh, the belly fat, it's still there. Joining us to talk about uh, ways to get rid of this stubborn belly fat is Dr. Samantha Harris. She's an endocrinologist with the Scripps Clinic Medical Group in San Diego, California. She specializes in weight management and diabetes. Doctor, thanks so much for being with us. Thank you, Susan, for having me. So what causes belly fat? Honestly, there are a lot of causes, but the most common would be genetics. So certain races tend to gain weight predominantly in the abdomen or central weight gain, but also things like medications, diabetes, or even pregnancy or complications from pregnancy. And how common is this stubborn belly fat? I mean, a lot of patients complain about weight gain in the stomach. So I would say it's very common, especially after menopause. I see a lot of women in their 40s and 50s who complain about the central weight gain more so than other parts of their body. So who is more affected? Is it women or, or do men also get this belly fat? Honestly, it can be both men and women. Um, women might be related to pregnancy or menopause, but men you see obviously having weight gain in the stomach. You've heard the phrase, a beer belly, um, especially with complications like diabetes or you know gaining weight later in life, it can definitely be that central stomach fat. So let's talk a little bit more about menopause. Does it get worse as you get older? Because with menopause, is it that your metabolism slows down? Menopause causes a lot of changes. It can affect your metabolism, but partly because you lose some of your muscle and your muscle is what gives you your metabolism. You can also develop this resistance to insulin, which can promote weight gain, especially in the stomach. So how do you treat this stubborn belly fat? Unfortunately, it's mostly like treating all fat. It's hard to sort of just target the stomach, although there are some surgical treatments that can target it. But the mainstay for losing weight in general would be lifestyle. So changing your diet, working on exercise, maybe some forms of intermittent fasting, um, also considering weight loss medications, weight loss surgery, or certain procedures that might target the stomach in particular. So are there specific diets that help you burn this belly fat? There's not one specific diet that helps target it, but if for some reason the weight gain is related to high insulin levels or diabetes and insulin resistance, um, lowering carbs, limiting processed carbohydrates and processed sugars or simple sugars can be helpful. So there is potential for that. Also, if the belly fat is from bloating, there are certain foods that might cause bloating, for example, dairy or beer. So cutting out those things might be helpful. So are there supplements or medication that speeds up the body's ability to burn fat? So unfortunately, there's no supplement or medication that just speeds up your metabolism or targets the stomach. However, there are medications that can help with insulin resistance and blood sugar levels. So if that's the problem that's causing the central weight gain, it can be beneficial. And talk a little bit more about liposuction. What is that? So liposuction is a type of surgery that essentially suctions out areas of fat for body contouring, and it's used sometimes in very specific locations that people want to target. And what's the recovery time from that? It's a pretty quick recovery time. There's other surgeries that are a little bit more complex that require general anesthesia, plastic surgeon involvement, and those recoveries can be really long. So for example, for a tummy tuck, um, recovery is usually at least six weeks, but sometimes can take months, even three months to fully recover. So when should you go see a doctor to address this stubborn belly fat? I think if it's causing you problems, discomfort, either physical discomfort, mental or emotional discomfort, if it's really bothersome to you, if your overall body weight is increased, or you're wondering if you have a medical condition that's contributing to it, Absolutely talk to your doctor. I think you can always start with a primary care doctor and they can decide if you need more workup, such as labs, or if you need to see a specialist such as myself. If you do not get control of this belly fat, what can happen in the long term? So the problem with having extra weight in the tummy is that it's a sign that you carry extra weight inside your body on the organs. So if you have an enlarged abdomen, it's a sign that you might have fat deposits also in other organs like your liver or your heart. So you're at higher risk for things like liver disease or liver failure, or even at higher risk for heart attacks and stroke. So there can be complications related to it. Any final thoughts, doctor? 
Obviously, if you're concerned, please seek care. There are a few very rare medical conditions that can cause this increased sort of rapid growth in the abdomen. So your doctor might be able to figure out if there's something else going on that needs to be addressed. Doctor, thanks so much for being with us. We appreciate you taking the time. Of course. Thank you for having me. If you want more information on how to get rid of that stubborn belly fat, just click on the link or go to scripts.org forward slash videos. Want more critical information about your health? Please subscribe to our Scripps Health YouTube channel and follow us on social media at Scripps Health. At Scripps, we're here for good. I'm Susan Taylor. Thanks for joining us.